How's it going everybody? Uh, my name is Tyler. Welcome to the 2016 first annual Sweat Hearts competition. We're going to run through the first workout, rows to bar, some of the movement standards, some of the workout logistics. So hopefully this will help answer some questions that you guys have been coming up with. Uh, eight minutes, as many rounds and reps as possible. There are two parts to this workout. The first part happens on the rowing machine. One athlete is always rowing during the eight minutes. The monitor on the rowing machine will be set up to count down from eight minutes to zero, and it will keep track of the total number of meters that you and your partner row. That's one part of the score. It will be scored separately from the triplet that we have here, which consists of 12 shoulder to overhead, nine toes to bar, and six burpees over the bar, and we'll demonstrate those things in just a second. Each round of 12, 9, and 6 constitutes one round in your score for the second part of your score. So part 1 is your meters, part 2 is your total number of rounds and reps. Once an athlete has completed the 12, 9, 6, the two athletes will switch positions. So if you are on the triplet, you will go to the row. If you are on the rower, you will get off and uh, begin your triplet. Hopefully that all makes sense. We're going to demo it here in just a second. I have my uh, faithful helpers coming in off the screen here, uh, Katie and Alan. These guys are going to demo a partial round for you, and we'll talk through some of the movement standards as they go. Right? So uh, I'm going to have Alan on the rower, and Katie's going to be on a barbell. We have two barbells set up wise. We would like you to keep the barbell work in front of the handle of the rower for safety reasons. The lane will be set up pretty similar to this. Uh, so you'll have a rowing machine, a barbell for the women, and a barbell for the men, and a toes to bar station. There will be a box or some other method for every athlete to be able to reach the toes to bar bar, so uh, you don't need to worry <laughs> about getting to the bar. Uh, three, two, one, go. Uh, Alan may be sitting on the rower, but he may not touch the handle, and this is true no matter which person sits on the rower to start. Uh, Katie may be in front of the bar, at the bar, but not yet touching the bar. Right? So, uh, little partial round here, demo, three, two, one, go. Alan starts the row, Katie starts her shoulder to overhead. She may press, she may push press, she may push jerk. She may split jerk. Standards are that the bar comes to the shoulder at the bottom of the rep, and we have full lockout, including knees, hips, and elbows at the top. If she split jerks, both feet must come back underneath the body at lockout for the rep to be good. Judges will be watching for all of these standards and communicating clearly with the athletes whether or not they have been met. When she completes her 12 shoulder to overhead, she will step over to the toes to bar. Beginning the nine toes to bar, she must contact both of her feet, any part of the foot, to the bar at the top. Elbows must lock out, and heels must pass behind the point of the bar at the bottom of the rep. These are all good reps. If she misses the bar with her feet, those are a no rep, or if she keeps her feet in front of the bar, also a no rep. Once she completes those, she will move back to her barbell and perform six burpees over the bar. Her chest must, must touch the ground at the bottom of the burpee, and she performs a two-footed jump over the bar. If she misses the jump or hops one foot at a time, she must go back to the side she came from and repeat the jump, but does not have to repeat the burpee to complete the rep. There will be some equipment management involved here. It is up to you and your partner to manage the space such that the barbell stays in front of the handle or the monitor on the rower. Once Katie's done, she will go relieve Alan on the rowing machine. She begins rowing, the monitor continues counting, and Alan begins his 12-9-6. Hopefully that's clear to everybody. You guys good? Excellent. Thank you very much. Hopefully that's clear to everybody. Uh, a couple other little details. On the toes to bar, any grip is permitted. So a double overhand grip, a switch grip, or a supinated grip, all totally fine. Um, can't think of anything else uh, that you might have questions on, although I'm sure you'll come up with something. If you do come up with something, uh, hit us up on the Facebook event page in the comments section on the video here. We will get back to you as quickly as possible, and we will review the workouts briefly before the competition begins. So, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Katie. Uh, that's workout number one, Rose to Bar. We'll see you on the 13th.